Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today I want to share with you guys how to get this eye look using a majority of the e.l.f. Elsa Snow and Ice Beauty Book. I've been obsessed with this. I was going to add it into my May favorites, but I decided instead to make a separate video just concentrating a look on this palette. I'm going to show you some swatches right now, and then we're just going to jump into this eye look and then completed face look. But first off, I just want to talk about the packaging. The packaging is gorgeous on this thing. It shows you a little detailed card over here about what is coming inside your package. It's also very secured. It does come with a mirror, which I don't want to blind you guys with. And then it comes with eight eyeshadows, a brush, a highlighter, two eyeliners, and a lip gloss. So you get a lot of items. I believe this was $15 on Walgreens. This is a limited edition. You can still buy it from Amazon for $15, I believe. The brush is a very nice domed shape brush. Great for packing on eyeshadow. I didn't use it on this look, but I've used it before and I love it. It just really helps pack on the eyeshadow. Great brush. You also get two eyeliners, which one is called Snow Queen and one is called Starry Night. The difference I only find is just the packaging. This has like stars representing like a starry night and this is just black but I honestly don't find any sparkles to be in this one. I mean they're both the same so I could have dealt with only having one eyeliner but you do get two eyeliners. They're both the same basically and they're great for under the eye. That's where I have it right now and they're very creamy, very pigmented. Let me swatch for you guys. You can see very very pigmented. And this is the same. You also do get a lip gloss. This is called, on the packaging, it's called Royal Pursuit. This lip gloss is super pigmented also. Super pigmented and super glossy. It actually goes very nice and smooth on the lips. Didn't have any trouble with it. Really like the color. Just this color isn't for everyone. Then you have this highlighter Snow Queen. It actually had a snow symbol on it which I thought was pretty cool and I used it so much that, you know, it's gone. It's a very nice golden champagne color. I'll zoom you guys up on it. That's the highlighter right over there. Very gorgeous champagne color. And then you get eight eyeshadows. I will now swatch them and tell you their names. So the first color we have is Kristoff. That is Kristoff right over there. It's a very nice golden brown color. Next we have Sven, which Sven actually might be my favorite color. That is Sven right over there. I've also been loving the color Anna, which I will put right over there. That is Anna right over there. Next we have Hans. That's Hans. Next we have Olaf. This is Olaf, just a white color. Comes more pigmented on the eyes though. Then we have Arendelle, which is another purple. Kind of similar to Anna, but it does have a little more brown in, in it. I find that Arendelle and Anna tend to be more of the matter shades, but there is no matte shades in this palette, unfortunately, which is a down point for me. I really enjoy having a matte shade in my crease or transition color, but those are like the mattest you'll get. They have a little hint of sparkle in it, but it's not so noticeable. Next we have Elsa, which is the color I'm really disappointed in. I could put my finger and try rubbing it and there is like hardly any pigmentation in it. It's just, it's a really sad color. This is Elsa. As you can see, it came off on my finger, but when I try to put it over here, it's nothing. And last but not least, we have the color Marshmallow, which is black. So that was Marshmallow. When I swatch, it comes more on the gray tone instead of black, but when you use a good brush, a very dense brush, it actually packs on black. So I would be careful with that color. It looks deceiving, but when you use it, it comes off as black. So that is the palette that I used to create the entire eye look and I use the highlighter. I do use the lip gloss and I do use the eyeliner. So I use this whole thing. So I definitely recommend this palette. It's like $15 or $18 on Amazon. It's a great palette. The only thing I'm disappointed in is it has no matte shades, 
and Elsa isn't as pigmented as I would have liked it because it's such a gorgeous purple and you don't get any pigmentation there, unfortunately. I'm going to show you guys how to get this eye look now. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I still have my swatches. Uh, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, hit that subscribe button somewhere down below. And I will see you guys on Friday. Bye.